Hello there, welcome back to Update to today's right now. We have a slight risk of severe weather tonight, yeah. tomorrow, and also on, um, I believe, Sunday too. So there's a lot to unpack. Day three, we have a, also a regular, general thunder risk, really. But anyways, right now we have an active supercell right now with a tornado warning. Um, looking at, uh, it's probably going to expire soon. Radar indicated rotation. Um, half total size scale is possible too. Looking at it. Look at velocity. Definitely seen some rotation within. Um, some of it seems to be contaminated though. Gate gate values are probably around much less than what um being shown. However, though, looking interesting looking supercell though. Uh, pretty well defined info. Um, hopefully going right in there. For the north though, we have um. For the north, we have again uh, a couple of thunderstorm warnings for six miles per hour winds, quarter size tail, and then with this one, um, also um, for 60, 70 miles per hour winds, quarter size tail. I mean, so and then um, <coughs> tiny bit more towards uh, heading towards Denver, just to the w east of it. Um, Gulf Bulb size tail and six miles per hour winds. This one's about to expire, 70 miles per hour with the quarter size tail. This one just south of Deer Trail, looking at a pretty strong hill core. Golf ball size tail and 60 miles per hour winds. And then for this one, about to expire also, golf ball size tail and 60 miles per hour winds. Um, we just got an extension warning. Let's see what this is for. Actually, we can look at these two supercells. This one's about to expire, ping pong size tail and 60 miles per hour winds as possible. Then this one's also about to expire with also um six miles per hour with quarter size tail for the north um again new tornado warning issued until 6 30 tornado when ping pong size tail is possible this is expected to turn to a linear mode mcs is expected to develop through tonight um and then mostly we'll probably more like more than likely um have one or more um bowing segments across portions of nebraska seems so in nebraska really near um more plot actually much and um, heading to even Blue Hill or just south or um, also near the Grand Island area so again um, expected to fall apart shortly probably after probably 9z tonight or around um, 4 a.m. and tomorrow more redevelopment is expected um, Across portions of the Dakotas and also Nebraska, with again also even stretching down into Kansas as we're going to be seeing a couple supercells. More mostly, the main supercell axis is for main potential for supercells is going to be across portions of Kansas as we're going to be seeing the favorable shear. And um, again, a very strong upper level trough it seems that's going to be, and also surface low. Um, looking at the upper air maps right now at the 500 millibars, we're seeing definitely um, an impressive um, deep trough across portions of Idaho and Nevada with, again, strong 500 millibar winds, strong 500 millibar jet, I mean. And, um, again, this is going to be supplementing uh, Q, um, MCS as well with around a 40 to 50 knot low-level jet. And um, we have a serious thunderstorm warning. Watch, I mean, active. That was issued a while ago. Um... Main concerns are going to be for damaging winds, large hill. Maybe a uh, tornado or two is possible. But, um, yeah. Um, we're going to be moving on to the tropics. Um, so, um, again, um, looking at Grace right now. And, and Henry, I believe. One minute. Um, okay, so looking at that, um, North Atlantic right now, um, again, Tropical Storm Grace is going to be exiting the Yucatan right now, and right now bringing some tropical storm conditions, which, uh, also some locally heavy, heavy rainfall, it's expected to strengthen to a hurricane, hurricane warnings are issued across portions of Mexico, and preparation shouldn't be already, um, near completion at least since it's going to expect to make landfall Saturday night so um, again pretty dangerous situation 
and really um, lo- monitor local forecasts and uh, get um, information about and then look at the other tropical storm it's expected to move to the north reach her- hurricane status still um, again forecasts are showing um, it's going to be hanging across portions of maybe even Cape Cod um, off the coast of um, Massachusetts but um, <clears throat> there's a chance as um could be heading further inland <clears throat> of southern New England and then curve back out to um, the Atlantic Ocean and probably affect portions of um, Nova Scotia by around 2 p.m. Tuesday. So looking at um, next, the eastern Pacific, we still have Linda active. We have a um, Linda active and... Um, Again, has a 6% chance. What? What? Okay, Linda is expected to uh, become actually now um, post-tropical by the time, by soon, in fact. Um, so, yeah. Um, looking at, um, also, we have an area of interest associated with um, Tropical Storm Grace. Has a low chance of developing, a zero percent chance of developing next, uh, redeveloping. I mean, next forty eight hours in the East Pacific, sixty percent the next five days though. <clears throat> so, um, it'd be very interesting to see what happens. But um, yeah, Linda's expected to cross over to the, um, Central Pacific area of responsibility soon. But um, anyways, looking at um. Western Pacific, trying to go far. And um, we have Tropical Depression 16W. Again, um, expected to um, reach Tropical Storm status by around uh, 6Z tonight. And shrink it to around 45 knots at around um, the 21st at 6Z, according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. And that's going to quickly we- weaken as it heads north and by um, 22Z. I mean, uh, 18Z on the 22nd is expected to continue weakening at 30 knots. 23rd at 18Z is expected to be at 20 knots. Um, it's going to be, again, locally heavy rainfall is going to be possible across portions of the Japanese islands. And monitor local forecasts. But, um, yeah, that's really it. But apart from that, that's really it. And go.